How can TO be two and GO not be good? Why do noses run and feet smell? Should it be the other way around? Is it accept or accept? Is it a lot or a lot? Is it I or me? Is it tell or say? English is a very funny language. And I hated it because A, it is not my mother tongue and B, I was scared of it. So today I'm going to tell you how a kid who was scared of speaking in English even in front of her friends went on to representing India at a Mika in an English public speaking competition. Trust me, it's not that difficult. Now there are four ways to learn English. One is by listening. And fourth is by speaking. Today I'm going to tell you how these four methods have helped me learn English. Number one, reading. Now the first book that I started reading voluntarily was called Tinker. Just look at these colorful comic characters reading. This is so much fun. Thank God for Tinkle, otherwise I would not have started reading at all. Now after Tinkle, I picked up a couple of simple books that are easy to read like um, Goosebumps, Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys. They use simple English plus they are mystery novels. So you cannot put them down because you want to know what happens in the end. This is a great way to learn or read English because this ensures that you do not put a full stop on your reading journey. Now if you don't want to read books then just pick up a newspaper and start reading it every day. Start with the headlines and then move on to reading the entire article. Now the second way to learn English is by listening and this is the best part. In my college everybody started watching Friends and I started watching it too because I wanted to feel included in the conversation. And that became their human prepossessing homo sapiens. There was just one problem. I could not understand what they were saying. But thanks to technology, we have subtitles. And that became their human prepossessing homo sapiens. See, it just makes it easier. Now that you're listening, you're learning how to form sentences and you're learning the pronunciations as well. If you want to start watching TV series, I would recommend the classics, which is Friends, How I Met Your Mother, Big Bang Theory. You can also watch movies with subtitles. I would recommend uh, Finding Nemo, Wally, -E, Shawshank Redemption, Pursuit of Happiness, Harry Potter series, uh, Star Wars, uh, Jungle Book. Basically, uh, pick a movie that is A, not boring, and B, is according to your current English levels. Because don't pick up uh, Ju Romeo and Juliet right away because that Shakespeare in English is difficult to understand even for experts. Number three, write. Now writing is an excellent way to learn English. Here are a few things that you can do to begin writing. Number one, after watching those movies that we've just discussed, go to YouTube, find that movie's trailer and comment and tell them in two to three sentences how and why you've liked the movie or dislike it. And number two, you use WhatsApp, right? So whenever you send a message, please use full sentences. For example, Bru you can be, where are you? Weekend plans can be, what are your plans this weekend? IDK, you tell me, can be, I don't know yet. What about you? And number four, speak. Now speaking in English is the scariest thing to do, but we have to do it. So yeah, three things that you can do to speak in English confidently. Number one, while you're watching those series, uh, try repeating those dialogues in front of a mirror whenever you are alone. I used to repeat dialogues from friends all the time. For example, you, you had rambled, rambled on for 18 pages. pages. Number two, hang out with people who do not have the same mother tongue as you. Because if I hang out with uh, my Hyderabadi friends, I will only speak in Hyderabadi. But if my group has someone from UP, Karnataka, Chennai, then all of us have to speak in English and that is how we we'll learn together. And number three, join a public speaking club. I know it is shit scary to speak in English first, forget public speaking in English, but trust me, once you speak in English on a stage, even in front of four to eight people, then you will get over your fear of speaking in English once and for all. And that's all it takes to learn English. I did not join any spoken English classes because I truly believe that nobody can teach you how to speak in English in just 30 days. Only you can teach yourself how to speak in English by practicing it every day. I'll make more videos on communication and interpersonal skills, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. But before you go, here's your first English assignment. Comment below and let me know in two to three sentences which method will you start using first and why. Don't worry about grammar, don't worry about punctuation. Just write because that is how we'll start learning. I will be waiting to read your comments. I'm going to see you again next week. Until then, keep fighting the urban fight to be fit.